So guys, Daryl and I have been discussing some of the uh, strategies yeah. for claiming some of these secondary objectives. And the one that's most interested us at the moment is First Blood. And really, the, the talk has been how vital it is to get First Blood. 100% of you the know, time. It's the only secondary objective that if you get it, nobody can equal it. So nobody else can then, can then take it off you. Um, in missions as well, where there there's a limited number of uh, of objectives and stuff, it becomes even more vital. Oh, yeah. to Especially get it. the mission, I think it's number five, where you have one objective mm. each. Uh, getting that first blood means you can swap warlord, you can both get linebreaker, but only one person can ever get first blood. Yeah. Uh, my army's built to take first blood. So it's mine. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's mine. Mine. So so mine. saying this. I can't remember last time I didn't get first blood. It's always one of them things that you have to get because once especially if you're playing limited objectives and there's a big bit of no man's land that nobody really wants to walk into you do all you can to get first blood if you end up in a mission like that there yeah so you can force the other person to have to risk things you don't want to risk anything we've left out deliberately one of our least favorite models um and not because it's a bad looking model but because it's just a liability and that's our little rhino yes that's, that's what that's a blood. favorite favorite first blood at target is a rhino yeah People um shoot at it it explodes it always explodes the <laughs> gw yeah. put special stuff in the plastic it means it explodes yeah it's you know the arm was arm 11 in the front and stuff you know there's a, a lot of stuff that you have that can normally at this stage your yeah. goes like that nobody can see me i'm not first blood yeah. please i um, please i'm not first blood and you know I, I know they're they're popular rhinos because most most people have them because yeah. I think you get I them you get them in the starter battalion sort of box yeah. don't you you get, and you get everybody a rhino wants and stuff. transport for their guys yeah they do. Um, uh, but again it's a liability all and all them soft little soft bagels are all a liability at this point because most people have some long range shooting and yeah. that's that's what you want is to just go what will just explode for me whether it's of any use game wise. It doesn't matter. I don't know anybody, or I, I, don't, I don't know of any list at the moment that I could think of off the top of my head that relies on a rhino. Um, so having having rhinos in your army seems like a liability to me, just for for that reason that I can't I can't it, see why you would ever want to have it. So at, at that point, guys, you have to if you're going second and it's going to be one of them narrow games, you have to put all the things that are easy to get first blood off in the reserve. Yeah. You can leave out the likes of your Vindicators, AV-13 to front, missile launchers even are struggling mm -hmm. to get it, your uh, uh, Lehman Russ battle tanks, yep. you can leave them out, AV-14 to front, but all them little soft and all them little small units of like five scouts or something, you don't want them taking leadership checks or get just getting shot every yeah, way down, getting hosed, hosed and down ran off the board. You want to leave out the stuff It may not be necessarily what you want on the board at the start of the game, but not having first blood is you know you, you're basically starting the game one nil down yeah and that's it you know all the other person has to do is draw the game from that point onwards yeah and and again like, like we were saying it's vital to get first blood and i know that in in my list most of his stuff is built because it's, it's drop pods and it's got you know stern guard in it it's got all that sort of stuff you you want to get the their side of the board and you want to put them under pressure in the first turn anybody who's doing any other sort of list you've really got to think to yourself before you you set out what am i going to do to get first blood yeah. in this army is it going to be las cannons i've got four las cannons in there that i can i can use divination on uh nah. to, to blast something have i got some you know multiple plasma guns or whatever that i can i can hose somebody's deep striking unit or something like that you know if they deep strike near me i've got plasma plasma to, to take the terminators yeah. out and all this sort of thing that's it's it's, it's, it's almost vital now that you build something that's going to take first blood. Oh, yeah. You know, defensive defensive armies are becoming less and less viable because because of these secondary objectives. You know, being able to, to, to take a lot of punishment still runs the risk of, like, if oh, my guy's dead, yeah, if turn one. If you're playing guard, you want something that can fire indirect if the other person has hid all his army. Yeah. You want your griffins or some of your other tanks like that that can go... You're all head behind there. We're still going to shoot you. We're yeah. still going to shoot you. We're going to try and take a unit off the other person. With Space Marines, yes. Suicide drop pod. As, as yeah. little as uh, with some of the Space Mar Marines type armies, 
three guys in there with combo builders just to mm -hmm. land beside a vehicle and go boom. Yeah. It may cost you more points to get first blood than what the, you actually killed, but you're one nil up at that point. That's it. Yeah. You know, broadside battle suits for Tau are very good as well, for that as well. Real gun. You know, the real gun on them, yeah. Just real gun something. It may not be what you want. It may be, maybe you have to kill a space wolf, lone wolf to get for <laughs> Yes, yeah. that's it. Yeah. And uh, you may not want to, but get that and ensure you get it. And see, see the thing is, guys, if you start with a plan, stick to it. Stick, no stick no to point plan, going, yeah. I've shot 10 missiles at that. It hasn't blown up. I'm not bored shooting these last five. I'll shoot them something else. No stick to it and annihilate that thing it could be the last boulder shot that does it yeah but when it does it you're one nil up and the other person's on their pressure they have to win there from then on yeah and, and that's that's the point at which they're gonna have to get line breaker and i and i have to have to make sure you don't have a yeah. have, have stuff on their side of the board and it's it's easy now to get a nice scoring unit on their side of the board to uh to get a line breaker so i don't know guys um is it the most vital secondary objective that you can that you can get first blood or you know warlords uh, i don't know warlords you can, you can exchange, you can exchange warlord. warlord yeah yeah you, can. you know i could kill yours you could kill mine but still first blood is if you can snatch first blood and not only that of course snatching first blood it's it's demoralizing for your opponent as well the way i snatch first blood <laughs> yeah, yeah, generally, yeah generally is, yeah it's what's your crutch i just snapped yeah. it in half that's it so i don't know what do you think guys is it is it the most vital drop some comments below and tell us and uh we'll, we'll get off we'll make some more videos and we'll maybe do some more about uh, just general theory of uh some for warhammer 40k <laughs>